Hey, this is Paul from Origami Bicycle Company here today to introduce you to our folding utility trailer. It is rather unique in that it folds up without any tools and fits into its own carry bag, which is about 30 by 20 by about six. So it's really easy to carry around, very easy to store and keeps everything together all in one place for you. There's a few steps to setting it up. First step is simply to take it out of its carry bag. So we're going to take out a couple of tires, a couple of wheels, and then we're going to take out the trailer frame itself, and that's step one. This is step two. Simply pop the sides up and get the cover out of the way. It's very simple to install the sides. There is a tube that goes through a loop in each end, and then there's simply a D ring clamp, or I'm sorry, uh, fastener that clamps everything together. So we're gonna just line up the holes. If I can do this right. And then snap it shut. So there's three of these, one in the front, one in the middle. I'm gonna try to do this a little quicker. Now the one in the middle is optional. If you have a larger item that you need to put in, you can leave the middle one out. I leave the middle one in particularly if I'm going grocery shopping because it just acts to hold the bags from sliding around. So I'm gonna put the front bar in and again, snap it into place. Now there are other utility trailers that fold, but I don't know of another one it folds so easily and requires no tools. This one was also designed to hold four grocery bags, so something to keep in mind for those of you that use your bikes for camping and such. Okay, here is step three. We're going to be installing the wheels. Each wheel has its own axle, just drop it in, and then simply slide it into place. And underneath you will find a, a little device to push in on the spring, lock it into place. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And slide that into the axle, push up on the spring, and lock it in place, and there you go. So we have just two more steps to go. This is step four, really easy. Just remove the pin that is holding the connecting arm in place, flip it over, and then reinstall the pin in the upper, the front hole to hold everything together. I can line it up right. Oh, come on. And then just snap it, flip the trailer over, take your rain cover, and just Velcro it in place. This is helpful if you have loads that you're trying to keep dry and clean but it can be removed, rolled up and stuffed in the back if you're putting grocery bags or taller items in the trailer. And there, the trailer's all set to go. The next step is simply going to be, besides putting the flag in, connecting it to your bike. So I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, this is the last step. So I've turned everything around so that you can see better. We're going to connect the trailer to the bike. The first step is gonna to be to remove the pin and take out the trailer hitch that goes onto the bike. I usually leave it on permanently, but you can take it off if you wish. Simply open up your quick release and unscrew it. And once you have it off, pull it out. Do not lose the springs. Put the trailer hitch on and it's going to go on the clamp side on the left of the bike and set it back through the rear axle. Put your spring and the nut on the opposite side. And we're gonna tighten it down enough that it takes a little bit of effort to close the quick release, but not so much that you're struggling to close it. Just a little bit of pressure. There we go. So once we have this on, we can leave this permanently, it's fine. We're gonna take the end of the trailer arm, we're gonna set it over the connecting rod, and then we are going to put the pin through and simply snap it in place and take this safety strap around either the seat stay or the rack and come back and hook it to the D-ring just in case anything goes wrong. You don't want to lose the trailer or have somebody you know, get hurt by it. 
But that's it, it's set up. You're all ready to go pick up your groceries, put your dog in the back. This will hold about 60 pounds of goods. It will stay fairly dry. It's not completely waterproof, but it's water resistant. And the flag and the orange color will make it much more visible to folks around you. And hopefully they'll be able to see you better with the trailer than without. So enjoy it. Please write us a review and let me know how many bags of groceries you can fit. Thank you. Okay, we just want to show you a couple of close-ups here so you can see what I was doing. These are the pins that hold everything together. You simply slide in through the holes. And for the most part, you just give it a little push and it will snap into place. When you want to remove it, pull down, release it, and pull it right out. They are very, very easy to use. They're very secure. They don't fall out. The flag does have a little pocket on the side, so it is easy to install. One thing I didn't show you, but I think it's kind of important, if you're not using the cover, you can simply roll it up. And I, we do have Velcro on here, and it can be attached to the Velcro on the back of the trailer and kept in place. The trailer does have reflectors on the back, and whenever the cover is folded, it is actually above the reflectors, so you can still be visible to folks coming up behind you. The cover does have Velcro all around to secure it in place. The uh, connection for the front of the arm to the trailer hitch is exactly the same as the D-rings I showed you before. It just connects right down through like this. Pull it out and then just snap it back into place. This is the strap is with a little hook in the D-ring so that that stays secure as well. And the last item I want to show you is just how the axles are connected on the bottom here. This is the spring I was talking about. You push this up to release it, push it down, and lock it in place. Whoops, didn't go, didn't go down far enough, sorry. And it, once it's locked in place, it'll stay there for you. So all, you always want to make sure that that is nicely attached so you don't lose a wheel. 